For our tool tip today, for our cheat, our hack, I've got something really cool for you guys. This is something that I use all the time. And when I say all the time, um, I want to say on 97.36% of every single video I do, I use this tool. And the cool thing is this tool is free. It is called Levelator. What is Levelator? A long time ago, back in the early days of podcasting, there were... Uh, a lot of people that were starting podcasts, they had a microphone, they had a recorder and or a computer, and they started a show. But they didn't have the skill set at the beginning to make everything sound absolutely perfect. So these guys that had a podcasting network sat down and they went through the audio software and they said, OK, what is it that we do when we are sweetening up a, a recorded track? OK, so we're mainly talking about vocals, right? So what do we do? when we're uh, when we're fixing vocals when I'm like like right now my voice that I'm recording right now how do I make that sound as good as possible okay so we take it into our audio software and we normalize it which means we make sure that um, all the levels are up at a certain level uh, we may EQ it a little bit you know kind of add a little bit of low end pick up the high end a little bit and that sort of stuff we compress it which means that they go through and they take the areas that are like where the waveform is like really low, where you can barely hear what they're saying, and they raise that up in areas where it gets really, they're really talking really loud and, and starting to peak and make nasty sounds and stuff like that, and they kind of bring that down, okay? So they came up with all these things. Here's the stuff that we do every single time. And then they wrote a piece of software that does all of that, and they called it Levelator. Now, Levelator is so simple, it's ridiculous. I'm going to show you how to use it. The basics, okay? You take a WAV file, you drop it on top of the Levelator app, it does its thing, and it spits out a fixed version. Literally, that's it. Let me show you how this works. I've got Adobe Premiere opened up right here. If you take a look down here at the bottom, you can see my uh, WAV files. And you can see that I've got, let me see if I can enlarge it just a little. Um, some of the levels, you know, they're down a little bit. Um, in another area, it actually gets like really quiet. And, you know, the sound really gets low, like right here. You can see the sound really gets slow. And that's, I mean, I was actually, you can see, I was stepping away from the from the recorder. But the, these, these levels are not all even, okay? So the first thing I do is I make sure that I don't have any other audio tracks turned on. So if this was a music track or something, I would turn that off, turn that off. Only the, the, the track that I have audio on, my vocal audio on, I leave on, okay? I mute all the other stuff, okay? And then I'm going to render that out as a WAV file. All right, and so I'm going to make it to a WAV file, and I'm going to call it uh, Vocal Recording, and that is going in my, I'm going to go right there in that, in that folder. Okay, so I'm dropping in that folder just a recording of my vocals in there, okay? Making it a WAV file, and I'm going to export it, doing the whole, the whole thing. It's a 10-minute file, doing the whole thing here. Okay, and it's done. Now, let's just minimize this, get it out of the way. Here is Levelator. It is it, it is as simplistic as it gets. All it is is an app that's running, and you just let it run, and you go take this file, like I've got my file right here, vocal recording, and that is just the, uh, the, just the voice, no music, no nothing like that, and I'm going to drop it onto Levelator, and it's going to start working and crunching and working its magic on it. Now, you see how long it took me to do this file. It's almost done right here. This is doing what I would take half an hour going into my audio software and doing it all manually. Done. And you'll notice that it dropped another file in here. The file is called vocalrecording.output. That file is the one that I'm going to replace. So, back over here on our on our timeline, I'm going to shrink this up a little bit. I've got my original right here. I'm going to mute that track and I'm going to drag in the fixed version, the output version. I'm going to drop it right there. And I'm going to adjust this maybe so y'all can see a little better. Now, if you take a look at and compare them, you can see that these levels here are up a little bit. These levels here are up. See, if you start comparing the two, you can see 
this is just a little bit better looking. And when you listen to it, it is a little bit better sounding. Um, okay. He's He started off with like a 45 decibel. All right. Now I'm going to mute that one. Here's the original um, ambient sound in there. And he's been able to get it knocked down and stuff. But okay. Now I'm going to mute that one and turn this one on. Um, ambient sound in there. And he's been able to get it knocked down. And so you can see that it's a little bit sharper, a little bit uh, richer sounding, a little bit better sounding. It's just great. It's called Levelator, guys, and it is a tremendous, tremendous little app. Fantastic. Everybody go get it. What I use it for is at our church when I'm doing our services, um, I may, in our case, I do like the, the, the sermon by itself and then I do the entire service. So what I do is I take the sermon by itself and I drop it in another timeline and then I edit that, trim it, do whatever I need to do in there. So I will render out the uh, pastor's preaching just like I showed you, run it through a level later and then drop it back in. And so his voice ends up being nice and rich and, and you know sounding a whole lot better than it did going in. Okay, Whereas I won't do it with the music because the music is already kind of mixed and, and everything. And, and I basically just with the music, I just kind of make sure that those volume levels are up where they need to be up, and that's about it. I don't, I don't get into a lot of the, the minutia of um, trying to compress it and, and EQ it and do all this sort of stuff because it's kind of already done. But with the vocals for the pastor, I want to make sure that, that when you're listening to the audio podcast, of his sermon that you're getting that radio kind of sound coming from his voice as much as we can, you know, in a room that has a little bit of echo. So anyway, that's it. That's Levelator.